Hey everyone, Thomas Marion Fan 11 here, and today I'm back again by answering the Unlucky Tugs video, Unanswerable Thomas Questions 2. So let's go. What is up, YouTube? I'm back. Oh, God. That's right, guys. Z093 here, and with me today is the unlucky Tug, and today... No, 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 no. That's not how this works. I'm not here with you. You're here with me. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Hey, I'm in this just as much as you are. We're co-hosting this. Yeah, but who's editing the video? Yeah, well, I... Whose channel is it? Fine, whatever. That's what I thought. Let's start again. Sup, YouTube? Unlucky Tug here, and Z093 is here again with me today. I I truly apologize for what just happened. See, I let Zio out of his cage for this, and he got a little excited. Wait, what? You did what to We're me? We're very happy to be back again to present you all with the video you've all been waiting for. Unanswerable Thomas, Thomas questions. questions. Two. So if you haven't watched the first episode, you should probably do that. Otherwise, everything in this video will be completely out of context and make no sense. Well, to be fair, the first one is pretty out of context and makes no sense. So... Well... Yeah, I guess that's true. Anyways, let's start this. Would you like to do the honors, Neo? I'd be happy to, Tug. On my count. Three, Three two, two, one. Go, go, Power Rangers! Uh... Okay. Right. Um, I mean, go? See, this is why I don't let you out of the cave. Are Thomas and Tug set in the same universe? The classic series of Thomas is set in the same universe as Tug's. Why do the drivers wear suits? The drivers wore suits to look stylish when they're driving a train. Don't they fear they'll get dirty? Don't they get hot wearing those? No. If the engines truly are driven by the people in their cabs, could the engines sleep while moving? Um, yes. Thomas could sleep while in operation. Like, could Thomas just take a nap while in operation? Yes. How does Etienne... Etienne. How does Etienne have a mustache? Engines can grow facial hair. How does Etienne... How does Etienne have a mustache? So apparently the engines can grow facial hair now. Yes. Dang. Thomas must really be set in the same universe as Tugs. Yes. If Gator's real name is Gerald, why does his nameplate say Gator? So um, why does his nameplate say Gator? Um, well, his name used to be Gerald, but he changed his name to Gator. So maybe it used to say Gerald, but when he changed his name to Gator, it, it became Gator as well. The nameplate changed to Gator. I'm once in denial. Can the trains breathe underwater? No, and that little clip over there from this song, Never Overlook the Little Engine, that's just like imagination, like that, the small railway engines aren't really breathing underwater there, and they're not really swimming, so no, engines cannot breathe underwater. Like what if Percy slid in just a little further? No. Nope. What if Thomas got completely submerged? Nope. Would they have drowned? Nope. That being asked, do the engines yes. breathe at all? Do they have lungs? I'm pretty sure engines do breathe. I mean, they have noses, but then again, like, they don't really have nostrils in their noses. And, um, Toby's the only one that actually does have nostrils, but his don't even go all the way in, so I'm pretty sure engines do breathe. Maybe Toby breathes, but the en other engines don't. It depends on what their noses look like, basically. Would an engine survive if it were somehow placed in an area that lacked oxygen? Could Thomas survive on the moon? Could Thomas survive on the moon? Um, I think there actually was a book of Thomas surviving on the moon. Oh, what was it called again? Engine on the moon, Thomas Moon Adventures. Oh, I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, that. Thomas on the moon. Yes. So, if, if there's a book called Thomas on the moon... That means that Thomas can survive on the moon, meaning that Thomas can breathe and all other engines can breathe too. Oh. How old is Lady Hat? By looking at her there, she seems to be about 20, or in her 20s. Either in her 20s or 30s. 
There's no way she's a grandmother. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she does look pretty young, doesn't she? In fact, even Sir Topham Hatt himself, he doesn't look that old either. I mean, he looks like he's somewhere in his 40s, actually. What is she, a grand milfer? Never mind that. How old is Dowager Hatch? Dowager Hatch looks like she's in about in her 60s, probably. She's a great grandmother and looks to be, what, 60? Did she have Topham and Loam at a very young age, like 15? Who are Stephen and Bridget's parents? Sir Topham Hatt's children. Sir Topham Hatt's children are Stephen and Bridget's parents, but they have yet to be seen in the show. Why do they, aka Sir Topham Hatt and Lady Hatt's actual children, never appear in big events? Maybe they think it's a waste of time with their um, father talking to talking trains. Or the whole family is involved. Are they all above this mumbo jumbo train? Or maybe they just have something else better to do. Train talking stuff? Why do some rolling stock have faces and some don't? That was asked in the last unanswerable Thomas Questions video. Um, why do some rolling stock have faces and some don't? Maybe the ones that don't have faces used to have faces, but they suffered in a big accident and their faces fell off. Oh yeah, that's a good theory. Um, I think we asked that in the last one. Yeah, we did, but it really bothers me. How can some trucks have faces and some don't? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but there's obviously a good explanation. Like the one I just said. Maybe there was an accident and the trucks lost their faces. If the trucks with faces caused the crashes and thousands of dollars in damage, why doesn't the railway just stop using them and use trucks without faces? Because accidents are pretty much big in Thomas. I mean, kids who watch Thomas love seeing crashes. I mean, they love the narrator saying, Thomas put on his brakes, and but it was too late. Smash! Thomas crashed into the buffers. It was a terrible mess. Then Thomas gets scolded by the fat controller. Kids love seeing that. And the, Thomas can't just have an accident without someone causing it. And that's what trucks are for. The trucks cause the accidents. They're not going to cause any trouble because they're not alive. Problem solved. How did Caroline's eyes work? She just blinks normally. Her eyes just work like normal eyes. But they're also lights. So when it gets dark, her eyes probably glow. And that's a bit creepy. Like, those are her headlights, right? So, do they turn on and her eyes just glow? Yes. That's creepy. What a terrible character design. Speaking of terrible character designs, and terrible characters in general, what's up with Jeremy? Does he seriously not have a cockpit? So... Hmm. I'm pretty sure Jeremy does have a cockpit. And maybe his eyes are one-way mirrors and his... Pilot is still inside of him? Maybe there's a secret door on how the driver gets in. How does his pilot see? Or does he even have a pilot? Yes. Who would feel safe riding in him? Who installed Pinchy onto Diesel 10? My theory is P.T. Boomer, who was cancelled from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Like, what nutjob thought putting a giant mechanical claw on top of a diesel train was an idea worth investing? P.T. Boomer. I'm pretty sure it was P.T. Boomer who did that. Either P.T. Boomer or the guy who built Diesel 10 or his driver, if he even has one. When Sir Topham Hatt reprimands Diesel 10, what's stopping Diesel 10 from just grabbing Topham and throwing him across the room? In Maybe Diesel 10 didn't do that because this was in Day of the Diesels, which was a Sharon Miller um, Thomas special CGI movie, and... She really changed all the characters, so Diesel 10 wasn't as scary and maniacal as he was in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. He was a bit more soft. So maybe Sharon Miller thought the kids would be scared if he did something like that. So obviously she just made him softer, and when Sir Tom had scolded him, he just whimpered like a little wimp. Do a brick wall. Does Diesel 10 have a driver? No, I don't think he has a driver. I mean, if he did have a driver... Then why does the driver keep on doing horrible things like this? If he does, then is it the driver that's operating the claw, not him? Same question, but about the pack. Um, the pack, do the, 
No, the pack don't have drivers. I don't think so. Do the characters themselves operate their arms, or are there people inside of them? I mean, they have operators and banksmen. Is their job just to stand around and supervise the machines operating themselves at the site? Probably. What a bizarre job that is. Sounds pretty boring, to be honest. Do the engines ever get flies splattered on their faces when they're traveling at super high speeds? Hmm. I guess so, but I'm pretty sure it's very rare. Like, maybe in Thomas and the Jet Engine, Thomas did maybe got one or two flies, but I'm pretty sure that's rare. Do they ever get them in their eyes? No. Would it benefit them to wear goggles? Thomas seems to become in Can engines have intimate feelings towards each other? Yes, engines can have pretty... Um, engines can have intimate feelings towards each other. Because I, in the Great Race, when Thomas first saw Shima, I, I actually thought he fell in love with her. I was like, oh my gosh. Love and Thomas, I'm like, okay. But eventually Thomas hates her. But they do become friends after this song. You don't need to be faster, bigger, stronger. You don't need more than six small wheels, blah, blah, blah. And in Thomas and the Magic Railroad, I thought Thomas liked Lady as well. So yeah, engines can have intimate feelings towards each other. Actuated when he first sees Ashima. Can the engines have intimate feelings towards each other? Can we please keep the lovey dovey fan fiction crap out of Thomas the Tank Engine, please? Hey, I was just asking. How do the characters that speak through megaphones work? Like, do um, maybe there's an operator somewhere far away that speaks through it. Does the voice that comes out of Big Mickey belong to the crane itself, or from his operator, or does he? But Big Mickey does have a face now in season 21. You can have an operator. That, that, that's not a Thomas question. That's a Tugs question. You can't ask that here. Oh, come on. Everyone's wondered it. Yeah, but... You know what? Screw it. I don't care if this is unanswerable Thomas questions. We're going to ask some Tugs questions now, okay? K. This is what happens when we let the power of running a YouTube channel get to your... I said K. Good day, sir! What? Okay, right. Why do the tugs have doors to their heads so people can climb into them? Why do some of the tugs have doors to their heads? Who is going in there? Can a person even see out? Are the eyes like one-way mirrors or yeah. something? Yeah. How do the tugs attach themselves to barges in the dock without the aid of people? They just throw it and hope for the best. Do the ropes just launch themselves and they hope it sticks to whatever they're throwing it at? Why do the tugs have British accents? if the show takes place in America. Coincidence. How did Sea Rogue lose an eye? He was a boat in... He was a war boat in World War One or World War Two. There must be a really tragic backstory there. Well, he does have the munitions company logo on his stack. There obviously was a terrible accident where Sea Rogue's family got blown up in a munitions fire, and whilst trying to save them, he lost his eye. And with his family gone, his uncle took him in and raised him. Huh, that's actually a really good fan theory. It actually is. That's a really good fan theory. Kudos. Thanks. Why do the tugs have lifeboats if there's no one in them? Um, maybe there is someone who's going to go there, but they just haven't shown it in the show yet. The tugs offer to tow Izzy for money, but how does Izzy pay for them? Does he have a giant wallet? How does Izzy pay the tugs for towing him? Maybe he pays them by him towing them one day. I don't know. I don't watch tugs. Dote in his head or something? So does Grampus's face wrap around his entire front? Yes. Like, under his chin below the water is the whole front of the submarine flesh? Or does the face end just below the surface? Where's Lord Stinker's mouth? The big barge is. Is the mouth the hall? Is the garbage in his mouth? Yes. Oh, Lord. How? Just how do the tugs have hair? They can grow hair. Just like Etienne grew a mustache. Where does it grow from? Do they have to wash it? Do they ever need to get haircuts? Do they get lice? Okay, we're entering very weird territory now. Can we please get back to Thomas? You know, what everybody clicked on the video for? <sighs> Alright. How much of an engine has to be removed before it's considered dead? It has to be scrapped, and it has to be completely taken apart, including the face. 
Scruffy was literally in pieces, but was still alive. Can they only die if the face is destroyed? Yes. That sounds like a horror movie kind of thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, if an engine smoke box, aka the black part where the face is attached, needs to be replaced, how do they remove it without dispatching the face? They remove the face and keep it somewhere safe, and then they put it on the new smoke box. Or is the face removable? If the engine's faces are removable, is the engine still operable without the If an engine's face is removed, is the engine still operable? Um... I'd say so. Wait, no, no, I don't think so, no. The engine won't be still operable without the face. Because, like, I think engines can control themselves. Especially in the in this um, Miller era. Face. If the face is removed from the engine, can it still talk? No, I think the engine is half dead if the face is removed. Unless they take off the face and put it on another engine without a face. If you snapped James's whistle off, would it be like you breaking his penis? What the? Um, no, not at all. Wait, what? Uh, uh, Tug, who, who is this guy? He, he's nobody. D don't worry about him. Hey, get out of here, Vinny. But I have more questions to ask. Go away. No one likes you. But I... Get, get out, out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry about that. I have... No idea how we got in here. Yeah, well, anyways, what's Stephanie's situation? Does he work on Sodor or the Bluebell Railway? Stephanie works on the Bluebell Railway because in the episode Bold Out, Stephanie left back, like he left Sodor and went back to his old railway. So he went back to the Bluebell Railway, which means that that's where he lives. And he only comes to Sodor for a visit sometimes. Is he somehow owned by Sir Top of Matt or no. entirely different controller? Can engines get black eyes or... Yes, I'm sure engines can get black eyes and nosebleeds. Nosebleeds? Uh, I guess not, since they don't have blood. Or do they? Engines do have blood, because, um, what was the name of that episode? Um, Happily Ever After, I think, I can't remember. Percy blushed when, um, some lady gave him a kiss on the cheek. Who applies Daisy's makeup? Her fitter. Or her driver. Does it have to be washed off and reapplied when it rains? Yes. Now who made Whiff's glasses? His driver. And why does he need them? Did the manufacturer who made his eyes mess? Yeah, the manufacturer who made his eyes messed up. It's up, and then they had to correct it? What? Yes. Now who's this guy? It's Wooden Railway Reviews, but I don't know how he got it. Would ice have helped the swelling of James's bee sting? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Two? What is happening? Do engines need to breathe? No, I don't think so. Most of them don't have nostrils except for Toby for some strange reason and his don't even go all the way into his face. Where yeah. are you people coming from? How did the coaches speak in the earlier seasons? Their faces were invisible. Or their faces were inside of them. Or on their roof. Or on their wheels. No, not on their wheels. I'm under them. They don't have faces, so where are the voices coming out? Wait, oh, wait, what? Why doesn't City of Truro have a face? Maybe they were going to make him a face, but there wasn't enough time and the episode had to be produced. Or they just did it to look more real. Huh? How does he talk without it? No, stop! Why aren't Thomas- Or maybe his face is invisible. Percy's scared when they visit the scrapyard and Tom- They're not scared when they visit the scrapyard because they're together, and they know that there are loads of people there. And nothing bad is going to happen, and it's daytime. And Diesel 10 not in there. Because I think in Calling All Engines, they were scared when they came to the scrapyard because Diesel 10 was there. I'm just Percy, an old slow coach. Aww. When people climb aboard Daisy, does she feel them inside of her? Yes. Does an engine not having paint equal to it being naked? Yes, because paint is basically an engine's clothes. Why does Toby still sleep in the same shed he slept in on his old railway? Because he likes it. How is it possible for humans to lever Duncan onto the rails? 
because there were loads of people and Duncan is a small narrow gauge engine so maybe he's super light and everyone did get out and help him back on the tracks. And rock and roll. What is the average cost per accident on Sodor? Um, a lot of money. Like a thousand dollars or even more than that. Who in the right mind would put a set of buffers right in front of a barber shop? Maybe somebody who wanted to, maybe there's a passenger who wanted to get a haircut, but like they arrived on an engine and they had to stop at those buffers to get there, but they could have just stopped at the station. So maybe the person who put it there was the barber himself. Just, oh yeah. Maybe the barber put the buffers there to stop engines from busting through like Duck did. Does an engine's fire going out result in the engine feeling tired? Yes. Yes, it does. If an engine loses its buffer, is it like losing a hand? Possibly. How do the engines feel pain? Um, because their face is attached to their body, which is the whole engine. So, they can feel it. So, when, like in Blue Mountain Mystery, when I'm, uh, the rock fell on top of Paxton, he felt that. And that's why he said, ow. And yeah, they can feel pain because their face is attached to their whole body. Like in Blue Mountain Mystery, Paxton gets hit by rocks and says, Ow, are they sensitive to touch too? Yes. If I put my hand on Thomas's buffer, would he feel that? Yes. Ew, that's gross. Tender engines can feel their tender, so if it's removed, do they still feel it? No. Does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Connor and Caitlin's crews get inside their cabs when their doors and windows are clearly painted on? Maybe there's another door somewhere on them. Does Farmer McCall have a wife or kids? No, he's just on his own with his animals. Or is he forever alone? Why do none of Mr. Percival's children look nothing like him or... Maybe they're adopted. His wife? Are they all adopted? How can the Coldy Fell engines have a face at each end? Are they constantly looking in two directions? Yes, and maybe they do have two faces because maybe the person who built them was trying to make them look unique. Can the Coldy Fell engine speak from both faces at once, or yes. is it more like the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas and how he changes between faces when he speaks? Since the Coldy Fell engines have a face at their back end that they talk out of, does that mean they're literally speaking out of their ass? Um, yes. Why does Trevor like children so much? I'm sure Tre Trevor likes children very much because they're always smiling at him and, like, they just want to play with him. Why do engines like Duck, Ryan, and Arthur still have the initials of their previous railway painted on them? Maybe they're doing that as an honor to their old railways, like, a, a tribute. So if anyone sees them and sees those, um, sees the letters on their sides, they'll be like, Oh yeah, the LMS Railway, that's my old railway. It was a pretty good railway, but I am glad to be working on Sodor now. Shouldn't they have been replaced with NWR by now? Does the Magic Earth still exist? Yes, and Lady's still working there. I'm just hoping she returns in CGI one day. Does anyone actually use it still? Is the island of Sodor really toy-sized in Thomas? No, it's not toy-sized in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Well, they use models, so yeah, it's technically toy size, but it's just really meant to portray a real railway. Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Does Mr. Conductor become normal sized when he travels there? Or yes. Does he fit in scale with everything? Yes. How on earth did Cranky get to Brendam Docks? He was built there. Was he built there from the ground up? Yes. Does that cruise ship at the back of Brendam ever go anywhere? Yes, it does go somewhere. It brings in holiday makers in the summertime. There's blood in their faces, or maybe there's blood in their faces, and there's also their lungs in their faces, which is how they breathe. It indicates blood rushing to the face. Does this mean they have blood? In the railway series story, Sir Handel, Sir Handel derails himself by pushing the rails apart with his wheels. If he can hyperextend his wheels to do this, then what else can engines hyperextend? Maybe he just knows how to do it. Because he can, this is why I'm saying the engines might be able to control themselves without a driver. They can literally just, they can literally just move any part of their body. I mean, parts. You know what I mean. If they want to. 
How was this even possible? Do the engines hum their own themes to themselves? Or are yes, they do. Are they even aware that they have themes? Can an engine have mental problem? Yes, if they have a brain. Who manufactures the hats for the tugs? Like the person that built the tugboats probably just made a hat to make them look stylish. Seriously, do they get to choose what kind of hat they wear? No, they don't get to choose. They, they, um, they just get. The person who built the tugs just builds a hat on them. And does it affect their personality? Yes. Like, would Top Hat act more like working class if you wore a cloth cap? Yes. And would Big Mac act more bourgeoisie yes. if you wore a top hat? Yes. How was the Misty Allen Railway built? Well, in Misty Island Rescue, the lugging locos told Thomas that they were sent to Misty Island because they were too stupid or crazy to work on the mainland. So maybe they just built this whole railway just to contain these three brain-dead engines. The three brain-dead American outcasts explained that they caused trouble on the mainland and were banished into the forest and wasteland we all know and loathe. It's established that there are no forms of standard 20th century society on the island, just the Logging Locos, which honestly is another question all on its own. The engines are given Sudrine drivers later on, but it's clear that nobody's actually ever lived there. So how was the railway built? Did the mainland pay to construct this unnecessarily large railway prison on an unknown island yes. just to contain these three terroristic engines who enjoy the pain of others by hurling construction equipment at unsuspecting victims they probably yes they had to cut down an immeasurable amount of trees disturb the tribes of peaceful natives and ship tons of supplies to an unmapped location shrouded in mist why would they feel the need to include hey two tug building yeah with a i think i know how all these strangers are getting in yeah you know the door in the back yeah oh no don't tell me you yeah i think i may have forgotten to lock it oh of course you did you see zio this is why i keep you in the cage what cage what is this cage you keep you know what forget about it i'm gonna go deal with these intruders it's more than time okay uh i think this is probably a good time Thanks for watching, guys. So that, guys, was me trying my best to answer the Unlucky Tug's unanswerable Thomas questions, too. Thanks for watching.